President Biden and I are honored to welcome Prime Minister and Mrs. Kashida to the United States for an official visit with a state dinner tomorrow night. And we look forward to returning the hospitality and friendship that we have experienced in our travels to Japan. For dinner, the state floor will transform into a vibrant spring garden, a place of joy and renewal, of hope and growth. As guests sit among the field of flowers, glass and silk butterflies from both our countries will dance over the tables. Their graceful flight, a reminder that as our nations navigate the winds of change, we do so together as partners in peace and prosperity. And as dinner comes to an end, guests will enter a cross hall, overflowing with the purples, pinks, and blues of hydrangeas, native to both of our nations, some as high as six feet tall. Beneath their feet, and I can't wait till you see this, a stunning floor covering just transforms the hall into a river of spring blossoms. Swimming through the water are koi, symbols of friendship, peace, luck, and perseverance. Every detail of tomorrow's state dinner has been thoroughly planned by an incredible team of people from across our government. Joe and I are so fortunate to have you. Thank you to all those who make this house a home and have come together to make tomorrow night incredibly meaningful and memorable. And I am once again grateful for Brian Raffinelli's brilliance and partnership. Before you leave today, we will share a little taste of the meal our incredible chefs are preparing for the guests. Now, please help me welcome our social secretary, Carlos Elizondo. Carlos. Thank you, Dr. Biden. You're welcome. It's hard to believe that this is our, our fifth state dinner. Yes. All it takes is one spring in DC to understand that there is a special partnership between the United States and Japan. Cherry blossoms burst into bloom their pink and white blossoms filling the air and blanketing the streets, reminders of the gift Japan gave our nation's capital and the bright future ahead for our partnership. That's what we hope to capture with tomorrow evening's state dinner design, the magic of spring and our lasting friendship, each detail chosen to create a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Guests will be welcomed by a wall of oversized fans, an everyday object transformed into a piece of art. In Japanese culture, the fan is symbolic, with a small end representing the beginning of life and it, each pleat the many paths our lives can take. The fan motif continues on the floor of the East Wing entrance, alongside a design of koi and cherry blossoms. And a fan display will be the backdrop behind the president and the Prime Minister as they deliver their toasts. In the East Room, color bursts across each table. The garden Dr. Biden just described filled with life. All around the room, the fresh scent of spring coming from some of Dr. Biden's favorite flowers, sweet pea, roses, and peony, common in both the United States and Japan, sit alongside cherry blossoms. On some tables, the first lady selected the George W. Bush State Service <laughs> China to complement the green fabric and the pattern of sparkling cherry blossoms that runs through it. Other tables are covered in pink, ivory lace, or rose velvet linens, pulling out the delicate, delicate design of the flowers on the Lyndon B. Johnson State Service China. And tables with mirrored tops glow as they reflect the candlelight around them. After dinner in the state dining room, Paul Simon will perform a selection of his iconic songs. I, I too, like Dr. Biden, would like to thank Brian Raffinelli and his entire team who have put so much thought and passion 
into this design. <laughs> Step forward, Brian. Thank you, Brian, and your team. I also want to thank the many teams across campus, especially my team, Team Social, and the uh, Office of the Chief of Protocol, who have worked really hard to make this official visit successful. Finally, I know you all must be wondering what the guests will be served as they sit alongside this incredible decor. Dr. Biden has chosen a menu to highlight the bounty of spring in Japan and in the United States. So now it's my pleasure to turn it over to our incredible executive White House chefs, Chris and Susie. Good afternoon, while we're waiting for the plate. Thank you. So I'm Chris Comerford, I'm the White House Executive Chef, and I will present you first our first course, which is a house-cured salmon. We cured it for about 24 hours, and it's flanked with wonderful ruby red grapefruits, avocados, cucumbers, and seashell leaf uh, tempura. Actually, our inspiration for this dish is the iconic American California roll because it's been such a wonderful innovation of both countries culinarily because in some, you know, like believes that a Japanese chef uh, basically invented the dish in California and henceforth, here we are still enjoying this dish. So basically it's all of these wonderful flavors that I've kind of have incorporated into the salad that would be very springy and very delightful and fresh. For the main course, I have a dry aged ribeye beef and it is a sauce with a sesame sabayon. And also since it's spring, we have some wonderful uh, morel mushrooms, some wonderful greens and some fava beans and some uh, wonderful seashell leaves as well and shishito pepper butter. It is really an amazing dish and we all love what we did, so hopefully you could try them as well. I will pass you on to Susie. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm Susie Morrison. I'm the executive pastry chef and I'm very excited to stand here before you today to tell you about the dessert we'll be serving. We'll have a salted caramel pistachio cake with matcha ganache, cherry ice cream, and raspberry drizzle. So we wanted to bring a little bit of the cherry blossoms that are here on the tidal basin right here to our dessert in order for everyone to enjoy the cherry blossoms that we enjoy every year. And so we're hoping that with all the decor on the state floor that this dessert will help to make everyone smile when they see the cherry blossoms on here. And then we want to complement the dessert with cherry ice cream. And then also inside is a salted miso caramel. Um, so the salty with the pistachio cake and the pistachio buttercream and the masha ganache makes a wonderful combination for everyone to enjoy. Thank you very much. Any questions for our chefs? Is there a dietary prescription I have to take into consideration? Yes, uh, when we formulate and we create the state dinner menu, we take into consideration all of the principles in most of our guests. We also take into consideration the season because this is the perfect time for some beautiful bounties right now with the spring coming up with all the morels and the mushroom and Susie's cherries and all of the stuff she has on her plate. So and, and in terms of the real the dietary restriction, we also take into consideration like vegans and anybody that has any particular restriction on their diets and we accommodate everybody in our meals. Where do the ingredients come from? The ingredients come from the vast areas of the United States. The morels came from uh, Oregon. Some of our uh, ruby red grapefruits came from California. Some of our greens came from Ohio. So Susie's fruits, where did yours come yes. from? So the, um, the uh, pistachios came from California. Um, the cherries came from um, the Bing cherries that we saved from the summer. And then we uh, freeze them and then we uh, also 
um, make sure that they're very uh, ripe from the season, and then we use them to make the cherry ice cream. <coughs> and then, um, yes, yeah, so basically, you know, wherever we can source it from the United States. Where does the beef come from? Where did the beef come from? The beef actually came from a farm in Maryland. Did anything come from the garden? Uh, at this point in time, the garden still pretty much, we just started planting for the spring. So it's not ready yet. We would have loved to have used most of those spring vegetables. But Do you know right, what these dishes, Japanese side or the Korean Biden, these dishes? Uh, when we uh, do our menu tasting, yeah. we have uh, Dr. Biden and our social secretary as well to dry the dishes and they would <laughs> all try them all and see what would best represent the Can season. Can you through that process when the, when the tasting <laughs> happened and uh, how long it took to design the menu and, and then preparation for this week's dinner? Like probably about a couple months prior to a dinner, we are given like dietary, dietary guidelines for the principles. So we take that into consideration first. And of course, we know the preferences of our own principle and we know how to represent as well the wonderful bounties, you know, whatever's in season around the country. So we talk to our purveyors, you know, people who supply us with these vegetables. Hey, what looks good right now? What, what can you really purvey for us at this timely manner? So from then on, we would formulate some different choices of menu and give them like different menu choices. And we all kind of deliberate and look at what really would best represent, you know, that particular meal. Can you read the offer from, like, from Japan? Uh, Carlos, would you like to answer the question? I didn't hear the question. Any drink from Japan will be offered? Drink. Drink. Oh, drink. Oh, drink. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, at this point, I don't think we're planning on that. Yeah. Just the wines on the menu. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're going to give you all a taste. We're going to bid farewell to our chefs because they have a lot of work to do. <laughs> they can pull those out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> We'll drop the ropes, you all can get your beauty shots.